all right guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of our rpg series um you've shown a lot of support to the series so far and i really really appreciate each and every one of you who's tuned in who's come back who's subscribed who's liked the video who's everybody who's shown as much support as you have everyone who's shown as much support as you have done to the videos i appreciate it um we are already at 170 subscribers something like that and two months ago we were at 12 so the growth has been great and i really really appreciate everything that you guys have done so um the pro the trajectory of how our project is going to go we're going to do the um uh, the, the 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 death uh the player death then we're going to um, move away from the combat for some time so we do other mechanics so we're going to do an inventory system before we come back to the combat for our archer combat and then from there we can look at how we go forward but if you want us to go the other route where we're going to the archer combat you can just let me know in the comments and then depending on how the feedback is if there isn't we'll go with the way i've said it but if there is feedback uh we will we'll go with uh whatever you guys will decide in the comment section okay so today's episode let's kill our player so um what we want to achieve here is kind of uh, you've seen most games have got um, a death screen and stuff like that when the player dies so gta has the famous wasted um i think dark souls has you died something like that and uh, different games have got different death screens so we're gonna create our own uh, death screen here okay so let's start with that we're going to go into our hard so we've got our stats inside of our player's heart we're going to create a new ui panel so this panel we're going to call it the death screen the death screen let's create the death screen yeah inside of this death screen we're going to create a new ui text okay We'll change its font size to 300. Um, let's go to the actual text so that we we scale it up. So let me just go into 2D view here. Just grab that, scale it up, bring it in the middle, and then scale it up like that then maybe fold that will require us to scale it up some more bring it back in the middle okay let's make it 250 because 300 seems rather big and then center it i'm gonna change this so if you've already imported to some fonts you can create a font asset i haven't yet we might start looking at that also in the next episode so that we start at least getting things the way we want them to be especially when we get into the inventory system it's very dependent on our fonts and images and stuff like that so we will be looking at that and also the skill system as well will be very dependent on that so let's go and pick one of these fonts for now we'll use the famous um should we use died um yeah let's say you died Change the text to a red color. Okay. Then we're going to call that the um, death text. Right at the bottom of that, we want to have a respawn button. So we're not going to deal with responding yet. We're just going to put it there. But the plan is that um, you should be able to respond after you've done some auto saves, and then you should be able to respond 
without having to start all over. But right now we're not doing any questions. So this, this functionality of this particular UI element that we're going to add will come in a bit later. So let's just put this at the bottom. Bottom like that. And then I'm going to say respawn instruction. Okay. Move the position and the Y a bit up like that. We'll put the text in the middle. Change it to First of all, let's move bold. We'll give it the same font. Change it to like 100. Now, 50. Then, we'll expand it as well. Uh, place it in the middle. Then we're gonna say press. So we're gonna say, let's say, Rather, let's just do uh, let me see. Yeah. So let's say press to to respond. So what are we going to press in here? You can choose whichever button you want. Uh, for me. Okay, let's say um, F. I'm gonna use F. Let me just make that. Press F to respond. Let's give it a bit of um, an outline. So I'm gonna give it that. Nope, wrong text. There we go. Okay. So you can make this uh, slightly darker if you want or if you wanted you could slap um, some blurry effect on it if you can go with something like that and then just darker down slightly darker there we go okay so that's our desk screen I'm gonna turn that off we're not using it yet then um, the next thing we're going to do is to go window, uh, not window, we're going to go to game object, 3D object, then we're going to come to ragdoll. So if you remember, we created a ragdoll for our enemy. So rather than go with an animation, uh, animations would have to get in there and make them uh, dynamic. Let's use a ragdoll even for the, for the, um, for the player so we're going to amateur root hips so hips is usually our pelvis um let me get out of 2d because i want to be able to see let's go there um all right let's go hips put that there then left hip is upper leg left then lower leg left is left knee then the ankle will be left foot. Then upper leg right will be right hip. Then lower leg right will be right knee. Then the ankle will be right foot. Then we're going to close those two. Actually, let's leave them open. Let's just select them up to the ankle where we've selected everything. Let's come here, add a new tag. We're gonna add a tag and call it uh, player, you will see why. Drag the. Then we are going 
going to go back to them. So select upper leg to that, change the tag, layer ragdoll, layer, we're going to add a new layer, call it layer ragdoll. So again, select those guys up to the ankle. I'm gonna go player ragdoll. Yes, and children there as well. Uh, player ragdoll. Yes, and children. And then select the ankle. And then give it player ragdoll. Okay, let's close those two guys. Open the spine. Spine two. So spine two is right here. Spine three is right there. Spine one. Spine two is the one that we want. The middle spine. We we'll put that there. Then we're going to go into spine three, neck, and then the head. We'll put that there. So now with the left arm. So left arm clavicle. We're gonna have the left shoulder as the left arm, and then the left elbow as the left elbow, and then the left hand as the left arm. Uh, I missed something, didn't I? Left arm, left elbow, right arm, right elbow. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. My, my mistake. So here it should be right arm, and then should be right elbow. There we go. If I've done everything right, which maybe I haven't, when we hit OK, we should have... Um, correct ragdoll and there we go with the correct ragdoll for each and every one of our of our bones in our amateur perfect so now we close that then we go to the uh, to the player and then right there is where the animator controller is perfect so now we're going to go into the uh, player controller, scripts, um, stats, health system, player health system. We're going to open that script up. So in this script, uh, we already have our die. Um, so we already have our die function here. So we're going to come into our die function. We're just going to add a few things to the top. The first one is going to be of type serialized field, and it's going to be the animator. Uh, you remember that our animator is already being called by our animator controller. Animator controller. Then we're also going to have um, a serialized field to our Player, player control at uh, our um, should we use the player controller? No, let's use the controller character controller. So let's say, um, character controller, character controller. Then in our start, we're going to say animator controller is going to be equal to get component in children animator controller and then uh, the player controller player or the character controller is going to be equal to get component character controller so now inside of our die function we're going to say animator controller dot animator dot enabled is going to be equal to false and then the character controller dot enabled is going to be equal to false so we don't want to be able to move when the character is dead and then the next thing we have to do is to make sure that the camera that is following the the player no longer follows the player so we're going to have to add that at the top there and then we're going to have to I reference it in that method okay let's go let's go to unity and apply the changes that we made
So if we come to the player under the health system. So now we have our player controller and our animator controller there. Then once the player dies, uh, the ragdoll physics should kick in uh, just by us disabling those things. Okay, so we have already set them. We've already set our animator controller and we've already set our character controller. So if we now hit play here, what you will notice is that as soon as we, uh, as soon as we die, um, we should. There we go. So. Um, okay, we've been hit far away, but we're gonna work on that ragdoll issue later, so we shouldn't be hit so far away. We're gonna work on that in another video, but let's deal with the with the death screen. Let's deal with the death screen. So, uh, right in the death. Let's come here and get serialized field. Uh, type public game object. Now nah, let's make it a private one. So private game object. Death screen. Oh my goodness. Death screen inside of our death inside of our die function we're going to say death screen dot set active uh, true that's it so now once the player is taken out what will happen is that death screen is going to activate so if we just come on all right we died but death screen didn't activate why didn't death oh we didn't set it up oh okay 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 player health system we need the death screen we'll set that as the death screen let's also add one more line so we're going to say time dot time scale is gonna be equal to zero f so what we are literally saying here is that once we have died we we'll set the time to zero and once we resume or we respawn we'll set it back to one so that the game keeps running so you've already known how we're going to do our pausing and everything with the time dot time scale so let's go to him and let's have him just take us out Ooh. he's slicing and dicing and there we go we died so that's it for the for the death issue we're going to now have a situation where uh, we, we respawn but again that's for another time um we could actually do a quick respawn right here and then we would respawn from a certain location but i want our respawn to be tied to our uh, quest system so we're not going to do that now but right now there you go you have a functioning death screen and there's text right now which is doing nothing all right um the next one we will uh begin to implement an inventory system so that we can pick up some weapons so we'll pick up a bow and then once we've finished picking up a bow and having everything interactable we will then go into the archery system because at that point we'll have a bow so since we do not have a ball, we're going to go into the inventory system so that we pick it up. 
All right, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and you the channel. Keep showing the support that you guys have been showing. Um, I'm enjoying making this game, and um, depending on how it will go, we might even put it uh, on Ichi or Steam or somewhere, depending on how far we we'll go with it. But I also look forward to seeing some of the, the stuff that you guys are doing. I've been seeing a lot of cool stuff from some some of you guys, and it's um, impressive how much you guys are doing with um, what you are learning from this channel and even from other channels. Just keep up with the work, uh, develop your games, have fun developing. That's the whole point. You're supposed to have fun doing it. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you can just join our Discord and then I'll do my best to answer them. So if you enjoyed this episode again, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, thank you very much. And I'll see you all in the next one.